What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Pause Reset Play. In this video today I'm going to show you how to get one of the legendary pieces of power armor. Uh, this particular piece can be found at the Cambridge Polymer Labs which is just south of the Cambridge Police Station. And once you enter this building uh, a quest will pop up. and uh, It's a pretty short quest. The, the building itself is actually pretty small as well. Uh, there are a number of different ghouls here so you want to take them out. And once you do that, just make sure you explore these different rooms here. Uh, that's where you find the items you'll need to craft this power armor. So this room here is one of the first rooms that you'll come into. And you'll notice this terminal over here. Uh, this terminal has a isotope sample area as well as uh, these two areas where you can insert different chemicals. Now to make this power armor, you need to insert the chemicals and the isotope in the correct spots. So if you open the terminal and check the fabrication parameters, you'll notice that to get this to run you need to have lithium hydride and gold, lithium hydride on the left and gold on the right, and then of course the isotope on the far right. So there's only one isotope, you want to put that here, and then to figure out which of the samples you have are lithium hydride and gold, you want to insert some of the samples here. You'll notice that all the containers look the same aside from the, the color that they are. So to figure out what these are, you want to go inside the terminal again and scan the agents. So now we see that the left side is hydrochloric acid and the right side is tungsten. We know those are not correct. We want to have lithium hydride and gold. So we'll take these out and we'll put some other samples there. So now let's scan these again and see what these are. All right, cool, so there we have it. We have the lithium hydride on the left and gold on the right. And now this is the correct setup. So you wanna have the green canister on your far left, the red container on the right, and then of course your isotope on the far right. So now we can run the process here. So let's run this routine and see what happens. All right, now we just have to wait for our power armor, and there it is, the Vietso Nucleic Power Armor, and it's a chess piece. Nice. So you'll see that this legendary power armor it does have a uh, unique perk. The perk being radiation actually increases your action point re refresh speed, which is pretty useful. Now you'll notice as well that the damage resistance and the rad resistance are I'd say you know pretty comparable or pretty average uh, compared to some of the higher level ones but of course you can always mod this to, to get it to your liking and having that legendary perk there is what makes it stand out from the rest. So there you have it. Over at the Cambridge Polymer Labs is where you can get this power armor uh, just make sure that you grab the various canisters and the isotope. To get this to run, you want to put the green one on the far left, the red right next to it, and your isotope here. Run the program and you'll get your awesome power armor. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to check out more Fallout 4 videos, definitely subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.